So the Toronto Raptors made lots of moves at the trade deadline, but one that has a lot of people talking is the acquisition of Kelly Olenek. Now, Kelly Olenek is obviously a veteran in the NBA. He's on the later half of his career in the NBA. We get all of that. Uh, but I personally think it is a huge pickup for the Toronto Raptors to get Kelly Olenek, and we're going to talk about why in a minute. But in this video, the main thing we're going to talk about is the real reason that the Toronto Raptors traded to get Kelly Olenek. There's a few things to break down here, including some things that Kelly Olenek said and something that Bobby Webster had mentioned in a recent podcast uh, and a recent interview with Sportsnet. So let's get into today's topic. But before we get too far in with guys, I'd be greatly appreciated if everybody could take the time to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Our channel is called Let's Talk Raptors, and we talk about everything Toronto Raptors related, from Toronto Raptors news to Toronto Raptors media. Anything you can think of Toronto Raptors related, we talk about it, right? So it'd be greatly appreciated if you guys could take the time to help us continue making more Toronto Raptors content like this. Now, the acquisition of Kelly Olynyk. Now, this was one I was personally really excited about because I think we need some space on the floor, right? We need some three-point shooting. You know, we need some space out there on the floor. And that's really what the Toronto Raptors are getting at in terms of the acquisition of Kelly Olynyk. We heard Bobby Webster say that, you know, uh, Scotty Burns has never really played with a, a particular player like this. You know, if you look at the history of Scotty Barnes on the Toronto Raptors, he's never really played with the stretch five. Right. His when, you know, he was in his younger years, we didn't have a natural center. You know, a lot of the times Precious Achua uh, or uh, even Pascal Siakam um, or sometimes Scotty Barnes himself would start at the center position. So we didn't really have a natural center there for Scotty to play with. Then we bring in a guy like Jakob Pertl and Jakob Pertl's obviously not a stretch five. You know, he is a five, you know, that you know, is, is best on a pick and roll or is best on, you know, under the rim, you know, where he can kind of move his way around there a little bit. He's not particularly a shooter um, in the NBA. So it's great for Scotty Barnes to have somebody that will allow him to stretch the floor. And that's something that Scotty Barnes has kind of been missing, you know, throughout his NBA career. He hasn't had somebody, you know, that will help him stretch the floor. You know, even when he played with some guys like Pascal Siakam and OG Ananobi, you know, they weren't necessarily three-point threats, so they didn't really help him stretch the floor, right? But now having a guy like Kelly Olynyk there, he can play outside the three-point line. You know, you put him out there with a guy like Grady Dick, Emmanuel Quickly, you know, a lineup like that, that can, you know, kind of consists of three-point shooters and Scotty Barnes, you know, that can allow Scotty Barnes to play inside the paint, right? And that's going to be great for the Toronto Raptors. Another great thing about this is the fact that the Toronto Raptors and Kelly Olenek seem to have a little bit of a mutually, um, you know, expressed interest, you know, in, in making this a long-term partnership. You know, you heard Kelly Olenek in his press conference talk about the fact that he would like to spend the rest of his NBA career in Toronto. Now, obviously, Kelly Olenek is a little bit older. You know, he is on the later half of his NBA career, so that might not be a whole a lot much longer. Um, he was honestly kind of on his way out anyway. He didn't sign a big contract this year with um, or the year before with the um, Utah Jazz. You know, he seemed like he was, you know, somewhat on his way out of the NBA, uh, although he did a great job this summer for Team Canada. You know, like he said, he really s thinks that, you know, this could be a potential ending spot for him, you know, uh, finishing off where it all started uh, for him in Toronto. Kelly Olenek's obviously raised in Scarborough now. The reason I say this is because I don't think Kelly Olenek would say all of that without, you know, kind of talking to Masai and Bobby about that or getting the hint from them that they'd like to make this a long-term partnership. But we heard that from Bobby Webster. You know, he did have an interview with uh, Will Liu and some and the, uh, uh, Blake Murphy and the guys from Sportsnet, and they did ask him about um, Kelly Olenek and if they seen this as a long-term partnership. And uh, Bobby Webster indicated that, he didn't think this option would have been explored, um, you know, if, if that wasn't the case. So it's cool to see. Um, and, you know, Bobby Webster also mentioned the fact that the Toronto Raptors lost some veteran presence um, in the uh, in the recent trade deadline, you know, obviously losing Thaddeus Young and Otto Porter. You know, not that those guys can be replaced, but it is important for this Toronto Raptors group to have some veteran players. So overall... I'm super happy with it. For the Toronto Raptors to have a solid backup big off the bench too is a great thing and something we haven't had in a long time. Obviously, we did have Precious Achuo, but guys, let's just be honest, he was not cutting it, right? And since then, I haven't really had anybody. Um, and it sucks that Chris Boucher is out of the rotation. We get that. 
Um, but again, um, you know, I, I think this is personally a great move for the Toronto Raptors. Now let's also talk about the other part that the Toronto Raptors brought in on the Kelly Olynyk deal. Ochai, who's already kind of become a fan favorite uh, with the Toronto Raptors. Um, you know, I personally don't know a whole lot about Ochai's game. I haven't watched him a whole lot with the Utah Jazz. But just from the little bits that I've seen so far, you know, I really think that it, uh, I, you know, I like him a lot. And, um, you know, I think, you know, considering his age and stuff like that, I think he has a long future with this Toronto Raptors squad. You know, he fits into that Scotty Barnes timeline, which is good. Um, so I'm all for that. And, you know, he recently had an interview before the game the other night uh, against the Cleveland Cavaliers with TSN. And, you know, I liked a lot of the answers that he was giving. You know, you mentioned that, you know, he loved coming to Toronto, you know, as an opposing player on the road. Um, you know, visiting the uh, Scotiabank Arena and visiting the Toronto Raptors. Um, and now he gets to live in this type of city. Um, and, you know, he kind of mentioned that that was, you know, something he was very, very happy about, right? So um, that's great, you know, that we have a player who seems to want to be here in Toronto, right? And and that's kind of the theme that Bobby Webster mentioned that the Toronto Raptors were going for, which is bringing in players that want to be in Toronto, bringing in players that, you know, want to be in a Raptor uniform. Because for so long, we haven't had that, you know, even back to the Vince Carter days and stuff like that. You know, take that however you will. And obviously with Kawhi Leonard, you know, the guy who won us an NBA championship didn't want to stay in the city. You know, the Toronto Raptors now have a name for themselves, you know, as one of the, uh, you know, top franchises in the league. So to bring in players that want to be involved, you know, is great. And that also ties into Kelly Olenek as well. We get that. Um, but, you know, Ochai also mentioned that, you know, he loves the year so far. And, you know, this has always been one of his favorite cities. Uh, another thing that he mentioned was that he said it's almost like New York, but better. And um, that was literally his exact words was he said, I've always said it's like New York, but better. Um, so that's awesome, right? You know, the fact that we're, you know, getting recognized as a better New York, um, you know, I think it is pretty damn good, um, pretty damn good. Uh, you know, that's that's just great to see. And, you know, we love that, right? We've always said Toronto is a cleaner New York. We get that, but a better New York, you know, we'll definitely take that one. Uh, you know, something against the guys who you are still suing us, <laughs> the New York Knicks. But guys, overall, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this roster. You know, I, I think this Toronto Raptors roster is, uh, you know, pretty strong. You know, maybe they won't get their footing on the ground this year. They're still kind of learning each other. And, you know, you've seen that against in, in the last two games, although they played well, um, especially against the Houston Rockets. You know, they are still kind of learning each other and learning each other's tendencies or a new team that haven't had a training camp together, right? They're still kind of learning each other a little bit. But the best part about this and the thing that we, you know, can kind of hold on to and be happy with is that we have a core now of young guys that can build together and grow together. You know, something we didn't have before, you know, as much as we love Pascal and OG and Fred, you know, those guys were aging a little bit in terms of their NBA career. And, you know, it seemed like they had reached their peak together as a core, um, as a team. But now we get a group of young guys, including Scotty Barnes, right? You know, if we look at a little bit of a depth chart of, you know, where we might be next year, you know, Emmanuel quickly, um, you know, at the point guard spot, I think it's very clear that he's, you know, a point guard for the future for us. Um, you know, on the small forward spot, you got RJ Barrett. On the power four spot, Scotty Barnes. The center spot, Jakob Pertl. Um, and then the question, obviously, is the shooting guard position. You no, know, is that to Grady Dick who ends up starting a little bit? Um, you know, do we give the nod back to Gary Trent Jr. again and re-sign him for a potential deal? You know, who knows? But, uh, you know, say that is, you know, potentially Grady or Gary Trent Jr. or Grady Dick at the two. Yeah, you, know, you do have the other one of those guys, you know, as the backup shooting guard. You also have Ochai in there coming off the bench. Chances are we're going to have Kelly Olynyk coming off the bench. Um, so those are just great numbers. I know Bobby Webster as well mentioned that he liked to see a little bit more Scotty Barnes at the point coming off the bench. So it's all great to see. You also got Bruce Brown in there. Who knows what's going to happen with, um, you know, Bruce Brown now in the uh, in the next year or two. You know, it's a good chance maybe he could be moved at the NBA draft. Who knows? But either way, guys, we have a good core of players here, not to mention John Tate Porter, although he's a growing player. A young player, you know, he is a part of this core as well. And, you know, hopefully he gets to be a big piece of this roster as, um, you know, the years go by. Maybe he could learn a little bit from Kelly Olynyk. Uh, but overall, guys, I got to say, I'm super, super happy with this roster and where this Toronto Raptors team is going. Uh, the Toronto Raptors also have a lot of cap space uh, this upcoming offseason. You know, some upcoming free agents. We have guys like 
uh, Claxton, you know, Claxton could be great as shock blocking center uh, to kind of start the game. Um, you know, somebody like that could be cool. Uh, there was also Tyus Jones, you know, another small point guard, although I don't really know how much he would move the needle for this Toronto Raptors team unless he was coming off the bench, maybe as our backup point guard. You know, kind of looks and acts a little bit like Fred Van Bleed out there on the floor. Um, but again, who knows? You know, maybe the Toronto Raptors are just comfortable right now staying under um, that salary cap limit. But guys, let me know what you guys think about the Kelly Olenek trade, uh, as well as adding uh, Ochai to that mix and the current Toronto Raptors roster. You know, where do you think we go next year? Where do you think we finish the year this year? You know, is this the right direction for our franchise? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Until then, peace out.